Hello and a very warm welcome. Let's start in Canada. Canada's national holiday has been marked by protests following the recent discovery of hundreds of unmarked graves at former schools for Indigenous children. Thousands of people joined a Cancel Canada Day rally. Catherine Corelli has this report. Traditionally, a day of celebration. But this year, Canada has found itself reckoning with its colonial past. This was the scene in Winnipeg. Demonstrators pulling down a statue of Queen Victoria. Across Canada, thousands of people took to the streets, protesting a dark chapter of their country's history, the residential school system. You murdered thousands of children, hundreds of thousands of children. We don't know yet. But we are here to tell you today that that was wrong. You all know that it was wrong. We are here today to stand with everybody to oppose the ongoing genocide of the Canadian government and state against Indigenous peoples. Between the 1870s and 1990s, more than 150,000 Indigenous children were taken from their families. They were made to attend church-run boarding schools. There, they were forced to abandon their native languages and convert to Christianity. Thousands died of disease and malnourishment. Some took their own lives. In 2015, Canada's Truth and Reconciliation Commission called it cultural genocide. Calls to scale back this year's Canada Day celebrations intensified in recent weeks, following the discovery of almost 1,000 unmarked graves at former residential schools. That number has now gone up. The latest discovery on the eve of Canada Day was here. 182 unmarked graves at St. Eugene's Mission School in British Columbia. In his Canada Day message, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said Canada needed to face up to its history. The truth is, we've got a long way to go to make things right with Indigenous peoples. But if we all pledge ourselves to doing the work, we can achieve reconciliation. To this day, we don't have a full picture of how many children died in residential schools and the circumstances of their deaths. Indigenous leaders have said that as investigations continue, they expect more graves will be found. Catherine Corelli, BBC News.